Hello everyone, Donnie Peters here for the World Poker Tour and I'm coming to you from the Gardens Casino at the end of a very long day four in the Season 17 WPT Gardens main event. The final table is set and just six players remain from the original field of 584 entries. They're all guaranteed $115,000 with their eyes set on the $565,000 top prize. In addition to that huge score, the winner will drive away in a brand new Mercedes-Benz SLC Roadster courtesy of the Gardens Casino. Leading the way at the final table is Simon Lamb, and he bagged up 6.115 million in chips. We caught up with him at the end of play. It feels pretty good. Um, I love the structure of the WPT. I actually um, heard about this event from one of my friends who uh, live in SoCal, and I recently relocated here. Borgata used to be like my hometown casino, and um, final tabling a WPT event in the East Coast felt really good. And then moving, now I recently relocated to Irvine. So now that I final table a WPT event in the West Coast feels really good. Yeah, um, I three bet, uh, I three bet to about uh, four and a half big blinds and he shoved for a little bit, over, uh, a little bit under 20 big blinds. And I thought about it for a little bit. Uh, I had the chip lead at the point at that point, and he was the shortest stack on the final table. Uh, I figured that it w it was probably going to be either a coin flip, and um, I mean he ended up having me be completely dominated, and yeah, we got super lucky. Well, hopefully, men the master gets super drunk again. <laughs> but uh, no, I think I do have a lot of studying to do. Uh, these like Jake Schindler is an amazing player. Uh, everyone else on the final table is fairly new. I've never really played with them. So I definitely do have to watch some footage when I get back, do some studying, reading, and um, some hand analysis. But um, uh, I'm definitely going to have a game plan. Joining Lamb at the final table will be Jake Schindler, Men Win, Jared Greiner, Saya Ono, and Craig Varnell. Nguyen had himself quite an eventful day that included a few spats with tournament staff that resulted in several warnings and a one-round penalty, a questionable situation against Steve Sung when there were 11 players left, and a period of about a half an hour when he was sleeping at the table before he needed to take a break to gather himself. Craig Varnell is the shortest stack returning to the final table with $1.55 million, and he'll be looking to turn the tables and add a WPT title to his WPT 500 Las Vegas title. The final table of the WPT Gardens main event will take place on Thursday starting at 4 p.m. local time. The event will be live streamed on the WPT's YouTube channel and Facebook page, so be sure to tune in then.